Well, a lot of <laughs> happened. Just to catch you up, I was supposed to be racing the World Cups, but I broke my neck and wasn't able to ride. We found some less crippled privateers and helped them out with pits, spares, a mechanic, and we even loaned my bike to some Swedish Australians. It was rad. After that episode finished, we all started the 1,000 mile journey to the next round in Portugal, but first, we all had a gift for Jamie. Jamie's forked for feeling good at the last round, but he doesn't have the 2021s, which feel better. He's going to go into a couple days testing on my ones. I don't need them. Are you noodle arms now? I'm noodle arms now. My arms have definitely got smaller since I started racing Jura, so <laughs> getting more fit as, as the days go. <laughs> Jamie and Michaela went testing in Portugal to tweak the bikes, find a bit more speed, and hound the local wildlife. What are we up to? <laughs> We're just here in Taruka for the 2020 Privateer Fox testing camp. We've made some major adjustments to everyone's bike. Everyone's running 26 inch wheels. And <laughs> Jamie's trying a left hand stabilizer. And no front brake. <laughs> Did you change anything? No. <laughs> That's amazing actually. The he, he, actually, he actually went onto the Fox website, got the base settings off there and ran it. Legit? Yeah. Fox base settings work well enough, yeah. For your average kind of guy. For your average kind of guy they work very well. You're much. not an average kid type of guy. You're special. Not my settings though. No, they're... They're very average. <laughs> <laughs> common misconception that racers have some mystery factory tune. Whilst the racers were testing, Max, Angus and I stopped off in a motorway layby to blow off some steam on the bikes and also finish off episode 6 of this fine series. Yay! 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 Some fancy video editing, Max. Ready, gonna cut my steer in three, two, seven. Oh, seamless. The roof's not max. Uh, up in the spot like a spotlight. Pick the block like a hammer chasing knots. Like it'll disappear if I don't get my pockets right. You ain't gotta be a fan, my AC is nice. Let me do what I be doing, black. Dream team. For the two World Cup rounds in Loza, we decided to keep the team together and help out Michaela Parton and Jamie Edmondson again. We've also got a little bit of a bonus privateer, Phil. How are we doing? Good afternoon. Yeah. Walk and talk, privateer guest. Yeah, I've got Mal on the tools this week, keeping the bike running lovely. Who's Mal? Mal? Mal Finney from Roost. Heckles is going to be doing a fair bit of trackside heckling this week. Where are we going? Track walk. Track walk. <laughs> <laughs> like you said earlier, you can get a bit caught up in what everyone else is doing, but really you have to think about what you would ride fast. Yeah. Just someone else's line might not be the best one for you. Who's your favourite coming into the weekend then? Favourite coming into the weekend? Hmm. In general. In general. It'd be, you'd be silly not to go Loris, I kind of feel. My mind have been. These suckers think they slick, so I call them a cell. Yo! Just it, I guess. Just first round was pretty chill, followed a few boys, and sort of got to grips with how everything is. And then. Like, are you at a point that you're going to be able to like push for time training, or are you going to use this afternoon to keep learning? I think you should be able to push. Yeah. Most 
I think the way it's going, probably 95% ready to do Sweet. fast full runs by time training. Can we get Oatley sponsor next year? <laughs> Imagine a Oatly helmet. What is that? Is that? It's added calcium. Oh. Michaela's got a secret Oatly stash who just pilfered it. What are you talking to me? Set a time? Set a time, I got. I lost a load of air about to halfway down. Had the cush go in, which kept me going though, so. Ah. Ah. If you had to do the race run and keeping going without a cush core in, you wouldn't have a wheel. You no wheel it. left. After the first day of practice, right as we're getting to grips with the track moving into qualifying day. Are you inside in that? I haven't done it yet. Yeah. Well, maybe I will try that a bit more. That pedal at the end. Oh man. Gets you. I need one. <laughs> <laughs> So many zooms. Whoa! <laughs> Remember the Zwars from the last episode? You seen, seen that one? Well, they got their bikes back, they were smashing out runs, and it'd be rude for us to not keep the tabs on our new mates. During quality day, Max and I were shooting inside the tape episodes while the team was qualifying. Coolest track. It was tricky to stay in touch with everyone, but the good news is they all qualified with Ben Zwar in 49th, Oliver Zwar in 37th, Jamie in 32nd, Michaela in 8th, and Phil Atwell in 11th place. Well, you're on a fine line between grip and no grip, but it's a fun place to be. <laughs> when it's good, you're rewarded. It's good, you when know? it's good, it's good. <laughs> no, but Maribor, it's kind of easy to go good yeah. and hard to go like amazing. Whereas here, it's hard to go good. Now, it's good that you got the fast time training running yesterday. Yeah. So you know, you know, you're good. Yeah, I'm it's happy. It's gonna be good. It's really good. He's good. We're good. We're good. It's all good. Bikes are. <laughs> Bikes are good. <laughs> day is it today? It is race day. Just gonna have a check the track, see not if anything new is developing, more if anything's getting getting wrecked. Yeah, they've got everything figured out. Really, we're just gonna let them know if anything changes and then just tell them that they're sick. It's just feeling confident that that's when you're going to ride the best. That's when you're going to do the best run. So what we're trying to do isn't necessarily telling them what to do. It's trying to figure out the right things to say and the right things to help with. So that they're just like, yep, sweet, happy, good. Let's do a good race run. You're looking like you're flowing those top bits way better than yesterday. It's look great out there. Um, just remember to trust those corners. Push, be aggressive. Ah! <laughs> ah. As the elite men finished off their practice, I made my way down the hill to catch Michaela's race run. Did she just hit it a bit faster and get get like a kick? It must be a hole or something that, that wasn't there before. She just yeah. looked like she, she maybe just pulled up a little bit late and just, I'm gonna watch it back actually. Ah, uh, yeah, she gets spat off the takeoff, eh? I hope she's all good though. Yeah, I hope she's all right, eh? Hey, right to the face though. I know. Like I'm gonna go back, back to the pits. The morning of the first race, I really started to enjoy it. And I went down and I was so excited and I'd said to Matt, my mechanic, that I had a good run and uh, he stoked I got a full run as well. And that morning, like, I hadn't had an issue on that jump. I realised I was I was too outside already to make the inside. So I was like, right, it's fine, I'll just hit the berm and then do the, the double. But in practice, I had been doing the inside. I just hit that weird and it just kind of sent me off the jump a bit. I just wasn't ready for it. And then my front wheel hit the, <laughs> the lip and I went straight down in my head. <laughs> Which isn't funny, but it is now. I'm back home and it's very dark because I'm still dealing with my concussion. I think I'm nine days in now. 
Yeah, actually, I can't remember. <laughs> Concussion. I've basically done absolutely nothing since I've gotten home. My eyesight was bad, but I kind of just assumed that would just be like that for a couple of days, and I'd come home and maybe have to like take it easy, but I'd be okay. And it's like not been like that at all. I'd already been told by people to kind of chill out and don't get excited just yet, and unfortunately, they were right. And I just like. It's like the start again, which really sucks, but I guess anyone out there who's had a concussion, it's maybe normal for you, that. But yeah, that sucked. <laughs> Something that I've learned and that I'll know to improve on is to like accept change. You've been practicing and then the whole track changes again and you need to change like tires or anything. And whereas it's not that big a deal, but maybe just being me, uh, I get nervous and anxious about little things anyway so things like that that was a good thing that I learned that and I'll know that going into next season everyone on the Walk the Talk team Angus, Max and Ben were incredibly helpful but especially shout out to Ben uh, I've, yeah I've never had that help at a race before oh, oh it's kind words it was a pleasure Michaela it is uh, truth be told though the main thing we did for Michaela was just try and give her some positive reinforcement and it seemed like it was definitely working until she had her uh, unfortunate crash. It was cool to see she actually learned loads from these races out in Europe. One of the main aims of a competitor uh, over a race weekend is to leave, not only with a good result, but also to uh, become a better athlete by learning lessons and progressing. And Michaela has learned a flipping lot over these last few races. So you can see that she's beginning to figure out putting those pieces of the puzzle together and it's going to be interesting to see if she's going to get complete that puzzle at some point in the future. Need to keep an eye on her. Run. You, just just, like, we, you were you were up, eh? We thought you had it. I think I overshot that a little bit. Yeah, and just, I lost a little and my legs were cooked. That was so good, man. Well done. So, Jamie's sat in sixth with eight riders left to go. This is gonna be wrong. So good. Well done, Jimmy. I think I'm on for 13. Worst case, man. Yeah, that's what we just said. I'll take that. That's nuts. So that's 11th now. Oh, when he first joined my team back there, always knew, always knew. We've just gone from like the, the depths of, oh crap, Michaela's dead, to we should expand the team next year. It obviously works quite well, that yeah. picture. You're 10th, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know. You, you 14. 14. I just want to say it. Threw a bit away on the pedal, I think. Yeah. How do these boys go so fast? Well, you got blooming cut spike in the back, didn't you? Yeah, we have one. Do you reckon that slow me down? True. I don't know. Oh. I can afford my COVID test this week now. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we might break you. We're going to break. <laughs> Woo! Tinder's blowing up. <laughs> Decent there. So not not bad. All in a all in a day's work. All in a day's work, lad. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, the Mitsubishi thing. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, oh, brake mount. Oh. <laughs> what brake mount? What's he talking about? Yeah, you you rent for Greg, eh? I do. I'm his what new mechanic. Sorry, sorry. I'm as of this year. Basically, I was like, who's gonna have a long back end? And I was like, I know someone that's carrying a V10 that's not getting used. Brake adapter for the long chin stay. So he normally runs long plus five. Um, we've also got a long plus 10, but it's too big. Um, but he wants to go to just standard long. Wielding the mount. Wielding the mount. Beautiful, thank you, sir. He might not be a privateer. There you go, rear but only, we, we, we plus 20. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Yeah, nice one. No bother. Happy to help. George, you're helping out everyone, aren't you? He's a good boy. Good boy. <laughs> and then, of course, Menard took the win. It was clearly something to do with that brake mount. George, like George's kidney. 
<laughs> George to the organ donor. No time to mess about, it was straight into quality day in Loza for round two. Now in the freshies, how are the fresh pits, mate? It's pretty low, man. Fun. We're coming to triple very fast now. Especially with no quality points, the only thing to gain is trying to get on the live stream, but yeah. not so worried about that. He's on it, he's on it. Look at that race face wheel as well. My bike's feeling pretty stiff. Can't worry, you shot. Have you, have you lost some weight? I think so, eh? Is it all the stress? With yeah, the all the stress. And... Yeah, it's... it's the privateer stress, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's, That's it. it. I need to get him a softer <laughs> spring. His hopes and dreams put in his head. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna go and you're gonna get some wall cotton. You're, you're gonna be the fastest privateer bike. And then we take him here and then we just rip all the stuff off of him and give him to everyone else. <laughs> Ben borrowed my Darnell XT 2021 Fox Shock 575 pound spring, which was ideal for his weight. And he used that and he qualified for the big show along with his big brother, Ollie. They made it in. The other Walk the Talk racers, Jamie Edmondson, he finished in 32nd with Phil Atwell, just ooh, ball here behind in 33rd. What did Menar say to you? Oh, he told me I looked good in a bit and then I got really nervous that I wasn't gonna ride it good anymore and <laughs> threw me off. He's playing mind games. <laughs> He's playing my, Don't try. He's he, seen the competition. <laughs> he won his first World Cup the year I was born, so he's just mind games guy now. He also won his first World Cup when he was the same age as you. Yeah, there is that. Mm. You're not that far off. <laughs> is this not the thumbnail or what? <laughs> yep, got it. <laughs> Go as fast as we can and it should work out. It's just, it's just mad when your uh, expectations go from like, I know. oh, let's let's qualify. To there, like your I'm, your names in amongst like you're you're above I know. all these crazy names, you know. I know, and and we got home last night, and we were, and I'm like, oh, I'm quite disappointed. <laughs> yeah, 30, yeah, it's 30, thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. <laughs> and he was like, well, I was taking it easy, so I want to get in. I was like, yeah, I like the logic of that, but yeah, could yeah. you have not got in the top twenty? <laughs> well, <laughs> but equally, if he pushed and then crashed, I know. Well, that, he that was his be, logic. Mm, and on the live feed. Yeah, well, well that is the, that is the only bit I think. Mm. That if you can, because that helps you get sponsors, mm -hmm. and that's where the top ten boys win out because they're guaranteed now. They can yeah. sell that to a sponsor. Mm. We're on the live feed for the next year. Mm -hmm. That must be worth quite a lot. It is hard though because you do you have you, you've got constantly shifting expectation. Mm -hmm. You know, from a we're pleased to qualify. We we came to get forty points. That mm -hmm. was really the aim of mm -hmm. these four races mm -hmm. for me. Was like that's got to be the goal. Yeah, get in. Qualify 18th at the yeah, first yeah. round, you're like, you're like wait, ah. expectations shift. <laughs> hey look, the test track. You should remember this section. This is where we did the timed the timed timed breakdown. We were going really fast, you know. In episode two. You'd scrub and you inside. It was rough. You wanna give her a wee yeet? A wee yeet. Oh god. Let's have a look at the old bit. It might be rideable. This is how you do track Hello, one. <laughs> so this is like the freshest bit of the race two track. So we thought we'd come and have a look, make sure nothing's changing massively. So we can report back to Jamie on what's going on. Let's go have a look. Now Phil, it's like he, he likes a challenge, does old, old Philip. So I think he's going for the speed in ta tactic. I mean, it can pay off. And it actually looks similar to Jamie, but I think, I think Jamie had it a wee, just a wee bit quicker. Nice and smooth and then rip and carry the speed. Yeah, I think it's a good show. The same now. Here we go. Let's see what Gregory does. There you go. There you go. A tactical case to tactical hold. Tactical case. See, that's wisdom. That's you only get that when you get to maybe about 36. You gotta know when to come up short. <laughs> yeah. Don't think I've ever done that. A tactical case. Get it in the holes, War.
In the hole. In the hole. Is that a tactical case? Gonna get a slow mo for the boys. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get some real juicy I'll, mo slows. I'll man the cannon. You man the cannon. I'll man the little pea, get, sh pea shooter. Get it in auto focus. Full auto, Jason. Full auto. Full auto. Let's just push it a bit more. See what happens. <laughs> a couple of them. Oh, it's Max as well. Oh, yeah. All the boys. I'll just see how far we can push it. But like it just kicked you. Yeah. 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 Race, if that's race dad, does that mean that's race granddad? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's when you know you've made it. Steve Pete just told me to slow down. <laughs> we, might, we might see you before you're under, but if not, yeah. Kill it. Yeah, dude. Yeah, if Jamie keeps that uh, kind of headspace he's in and keeps it going through to his race run, we're on for either a stunning result or like a blowout or something like that because he's riding so good. insane run and went into the hot seat with like a time that was going to hold for a while and then Jamie came down and just beat it just beat it snuck in and he got on the hot seat it's it's at the end, didn't he? Was he, he was back in you he was back by like 0 0.03 hundreds or so he got me at the end of the so this was like super exciting there's 31 riders left to go Jamie's in the hot seat who's going to beat him and then it rained is that rain there? Yeah, there's rain on the camera. Yeah. Bro, this is actually raining now. Yeah. This is actual rain. It's actual rain. What's that? Made things slick enough the writers started making mistakes. I kind of didn't want to. I didn't want to win it because I knew if I won it, it wasn't a fair win. Almost nervous of that as well because it had been a really good run. And with time so close at the top, it was looking harder and harder for someone to beat Jamie's time. Oh, it came to qualifying. <laughs> Four qualifiers and ten points at each round. series of events like you you could not have written a story for this trip that would be any better I mean we had the lows me flipping breaking my neck Michaela stoving herself into the ground to the highs of 
the Zwar is getting their best ever results, Phil getting a podium, and then Jamie Edmondson just getting fourth. Look, Jamie Edmondson, from, he's from up the road. <laughs> he got a podium. Unbelievable. George II, my bike, the bike that was supposed to be the privateer racing bike, Benzoa rode it, qualified at a race in Maribor. My Forks, yeah, they got a podium under Jamie, no big deal. My Brake Mount, oh yeah, won a World Cup. It's a first and second place <laughs> winning Brake Mount. Thanks. Thanks. Are you used by us. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not cool, I don't know what is. Couldn't have been there, we couldn't have gone out, we couldn't have helped all these other privateers. So like the biggest shout out to all the sponsors that made this series happen. Paid our wages, got us there and did it all. The raddest companies that you're ever gonna find. Yeah, cheers to them and stay tuned. Can I? I want no. pity you come back. Yeah, I'm just no, no, I don't. I got enough. I, it actually, <laughs> it actually genuinely clawed me right in the end of my willy. It was, <laughs> you did do that. <laughs> it was not fun. Yeah, it wasn't very domesticated. It jump on you and just go. I know. <laughs> it was like, I'm on and I'm staying. <laughs> ah. It was like, it was a really good season. Like pretty much every race went either as well as I could have hoped for or better. So it was like every race you were sort of coming off it buzzing and and then to have Ben's help and you and Angus and all the boys, just sort of, it was a real good atmosphere and it was, it was funny, it was sort of, when I was looking for stuff for next year, that was one of the things that I was really keen on, was that it was a similar, similar atmosphere, because it definitely helped, sort of, the boys were there to support you, but they also didn't put any pressure on you, like, if you didn't do well, that was, that was fine, you sort of moved on, but if you did well, they were stoked for you and they wanted you to do well. So I think that really helped.